Hello folks, Alex here and this video is to show you how to integrate an external uh, siren amplifier into the Phoenix 4200 controller. Now your standard 100 watt or 200 watt siren amplifiers that exist normally have a set of wires. Obviously two of which, red and black, which are normally apply, uh, applied to constant current. Um, 12 volt plus, most likely your vehicle's battery. And then you have a set of signal wires. So in this case, we'll take Whale, Yelp, and Phaser as your three signal wires that could normally be found in any siren amplifier box. When, applied, uh, when you apply 12 volts to those, to those three wires, obviously they produce the, the desired sound. So in this case, let's go ahead and uh, assume that we are connecting Whale, Yelp, and Pierce, the 12 volt plus signal wires, into output 6, output 7, and output 8. So in this case, obviously, those will be my three outputs that I will be wiring my Whale, Yelp, and Pierce wires. And I'd like to activate them utilizing button 1, 2, and 3. So in this case, I'd like button 1 to activate output 6, button 2 to activate output 7, and button 3 to activate output 8. So as you can see, it's as simple as that. Each button will activate that desired output, therefore engaging the uh, sp specified tone in those outputs. So I would assume in this case button 1 is whale, button 2 is yelp, and button 3 is pierce or phaser, um, more commonly known as phaser or fast yelp. Uh, so uh, a few additional things that need to be done before finalizing the program is if button 1 is activated, um, and I decide to activate button 2, obviously button 1 will still be activated. So I need to go ahead and do some deactivation here. So I will select button 1. If button 1's activated, I wish to deactivate 2 and 3. If button 2 is activated, I wish to deactivate 1 and 3. And if button 3 is activated, I wish to deactivate two, uh, 1 and 2. And it's as simple as that. All you have to do now is every time you apply, every time you select a button, the system will automatically deactivate the previous button, therefore not causing any type of overlap. Um, and that is how you program an external siren system into the Phoenix 4200. It's compatible with pretty much any other external siren amplifier box uh, that exists. A few additional things I'd like to show you in this case. Let's assume output 6 is our whale. Output 7 is our Yelp, and Output 8 is our Phaser. Um, and I would like to have button 4 activate my Phaser on momentary. So what I can do is select button 4, activate Output 8, which is my Phaser, and I simply select the momentary button right here. Now every time I click button 4, I will automatically activate my Phaser. Notice I'm not deactivating Whale, Yelp, or Phaser in the above, simply because I don't want to deactivate those, those buttons if I wish to engage Phaser for a momentary period of time. So, in this case, button 4 is my Phaser. Now, one additional thing is let's assume I'm going through an intersection, and my intersection tone is Yelp, and my standard inter intersection time is, let's say, 5 seconds or 10 seconds. So, in button 5, I wish to activate my, phase, my Yelp which is located in port 7. So button 5 activates port 7 and I'd like to set a timer of let's say let's say 8 seconds. It takes 8 seconds to blow through an intersection. So in that case whenever I activate button 5 I will be set for 8 seconds to output, uh, to output a Yelp tone which is obviously connected into port 7. Simple way, obviously, at the end of the day, it's open to the creativity and imagination of the uh, user. Um, so one additional feature that I'd like to point out is let's assume you have a air horn functionality. So let's say, for example, in the Halio 100 watt amplifier, your air horn is your white wire. So I would like to connect my white wire into output 9. And I would like to have button 18 turn on output 9. Um, and let's say obviously a standard air horn is on a momentary, so I'll leave button 18 on a momentary. Now every time I momentary or, or I activate output 18, I obviously uh, activate output 9, which triggers my horn. 
But on top of that, I'd like to utilize my input feature. So let's say in input A, I decide to wire in my factory 12 volt plus signal into, uh, into input A, um, which activates, uh, which will activate my horn. So in this case, I select input A to activate output 9. Now every single time I apply my vehicle's horn, it obviously applies a 12 volt signal into input A, therefore activating output 9, therefore uh, activating my horn. So I can apply it in that fashion where I input A actually turns on a port, or I can apply it where input A actually activates button 18. It, at the end of the day, it will, it will produce pretty much the, the, same, uh, the same outcome. Now every time I press my horn, I will actually see button 18 light up, um, versus if I'm activating my, the port, I won't see button 18 light up. So hopefully that gave you a good idea of how to program the Phoenix uh, 4200 uh, utilizing an external siren amplifier box. Thanks for watching.